What's up, man? 25 gamers. Welcome to today's video. Today, I want to give you a quick recap of the Mutt Invitational, and then I want to highlight a little bit about the Madden 15 cover vote uh, in preparation for Madden 15's release. Now, over the last, uh, I think it was about two weeks ago, uh, but basically, we we saw the Mutt Invitational, uh, and we saw the champion winners. And I wish I want to uh, kind of highlight. Uh, I mainly want to highlight the next gen, but I will highlight the other uh, two guys here. So we've got. Uh, Ghost Boy, uh, MD Dome P Piece 70, uh, Michael Baber, and uh, a quick interview that EA Sports did. Uh, basically, he's been playing Madden for about 14, 14 years, and I uh, first started playing Mutt in 12, which was interesting because um, that was I think that was the first year for it, so he's been a Mutt guy for a while now, and uh, his team name was the Ghost Boys, and his team overall is 99, of course, uh, pretty much everybody here was, but it was interesting that I thought was the playbooks that he ran with was the pistol playbook and the 4-3 playbook. And you know anything about uh, early Madden was we early Madden this season of Madden 25 for current gen we were talking about how good the 4-4 was and um we we're also talking about how good the the read option was, and, and, and it, it was reiterated here when he's running the pistol playbook, which is all pistol, all read option runs, a very good effective playbook, and it was just, it's interesting to see his scheme and how he came out on top, but uh, he was the tournament champion uh, for his bracket, and then I want to also, I really want to talk about this guy right here, uh, Alpha Prodigy on the PS3, and I, I really liked his game a lot. What he brought to the table um, was, let's, let's give him a quick backdrop here, but he's been playing Madden since about 01, which is a while. I played a while, a long time ago. Uh, started playing Madden Ultimate Team Madden 13, so a little later on in the scene. Uh, he built his Ultimate Team uh, by playing head-to-head -head games, bundles, and trades. So that's a quick note because that's the way I played on building mine. I don't want to put money into it because I just don't have the money to put into it. But I, I, I will be building my Madden Ultimate team this year uh, as we're kind of tailing in and kind of getting into mud a little bit more. I will be building it based off of head-to-head -head games mainly. Uh, but anyway, um, the, what is your team name and how did you come up with it was one of the questions that they brought to him. He says, the premise of the Oregon is an all-time Chip Kelly team uh, with one caveat, adding players from the state of Oregon. This includes any Philadelphia Eagles players, past or present, Oregon Duck, Oregon State, PS, uh, Penn State, Viking, or any player raised in Oregon. The team is not complete, hence players like Calvin Johnson and Russell Wilson. But you see that he has a, a, a backdrop for what he wants to do. Um, so, you know, in my ultimate team, we think that you always you can only get the best players. That's how you win. But see, here he did something cool with his team was he had a, a, a different take and built his team around more of a, just kind of a fun thing for him to do. So, um... And then this was interesting that he, on defense, ran with the San Francisco 49ers playbook. Now, if you know anything about current gen, uh, the large majority of the successful schemes, if you will, on current gen consoles is the uh, the big nickel bear, the 4-6 bear under, the 4-3 stack, the 4-4... Four, four, the 4-3 under, 4-3 over plus, those kind of formations were the bread and butter. Whereas the 3-4 formations really weren't that hugely in the tournament scene. So it was interesting to see him using the uh, San Francisco 49ers playbook because they're largely a 3-4 team. Um, so it would have been you know, a lot of 3-4, saw a lot of that. So it was just an interesting thing, interesting take that I thought he took on the game. Interesting has been from the tournament champion here. Uh, used uh, Carolina's offensive playbook. We all know the Carolina is uh, one of the best playbooks uh, in the game here. So interesting stuff here. And now I want to get into what I really want to talk about is the PS4 champion, uh, BU Tweezy. That was the best game. That was by far the best game. Confirmed on all forums. Best game. And uh, this was this was really interesting. And this is what I want you guys to take from this. How long have you been playing Madden, they asked. He says, I've been playing Madden casually since Madden 2000. That's a story that I can kind of relate with. Was I was playing very casually, very sim, just kind of playing for fun, playing franchise mode, whatever. And seriously, since 2013. It took him one year to be a tournament champion player uh, in Madden. And that is applicable to you. If you take the tips that I give you. You take the, the tips that S gives over at MaddenTips.com to give you. You take the tips that ZBoy365 gives. You take the tips that Madden Mastermind gives. You can become one of the best players. Just take it from BU Tweezy. He's a guy that did it. Uh, built his... Uh, let's take a look here at the playbooks he used. He used the Carolina offense and the 4-3 on defense. The green uh, In Green Bay slash 4-3, so a little bit of both. But 
we saw that he was running a lot of uh, the nickel 245 mid zone blitz. He invented that play. And so, uh, it's just something I was interested in. Just wanted to give you guys a quick little take on the tournament. And I just wanted to highlight mainly B. Tweezy and kind of how he went from basically beginner to contender, what we were talking about, just kind of a casual player to becoming a very elite player in a very short amount of time because he put the time in, he worked hard, he got better at the game, he took the tips that were given out for free, and he executed and became one of the best players in the in the world right now in Madden 25. Okay, and then um, last thing I really want to uh, talk about here is a quick re recap of the other Mutt, uh, guy, Mutt game, Hotshugs and Zfaros. Just want to give you a quick take. Uh, Zfaros just didn't play his best ball game, and Hotshugs dig. That's all it is. Uh, Hotshugs is a great player, and Zfaros is also a great player. Just didn't execute, and I, I think that goes back to what we saw from Zfaros. Is a lot of a lot of set plays where he would come out and ace close, then he would come out and ace twins, then he would come out a bunch, then he would come out in five wide. When you're running Madden, in order for you to be effective, in my opinion, and I think it's confirmed by a lot of consistent tournament winners, you have to be willing to come out in the same formation every time, have the same personnel, and audible based on a read. Because if you just go to set plays, it's easier for the defense to key on what you're trying to do. So that was just a quick run cap, recap of, of the Mud Invitational. Just a couple little spotlights there for you. I know I may have missed some things, but uh, anyways, just wanted to give you a quick talk about that. And then lastly, I wanted to talk about the Madden 15 cover vote. Richard Sherman versus Cam Newton. Who wins? Uh, we, we embrace debate. I just want to say... I hope Cam Newton wins because I don't want to see – I would rather see the Madden curse fall on Cam Newton than Richard Sherman. That's just my take uh, because I want to see Richard Sherman be a, a, an elite corner for a while. I don't always agree with his uh, antics and his off-the-field rants and stuff like that, but I think that he's a he's a very good player, and I, I can't wait to see what the future holds for him. He's a young player, and he's considered the best cornerback in the league at a very young age, and it's going to be interesting to see how good he gets. Cam Newton, as we all know, I think Cam Newton is a bit overrated, and I'm going to say that just because – of the past, but I do want to close with Cam Newton does have the potential to be one of the best quarterbacks of all time if he applies himself. Let's see who gets the cover vote, guys. I'm really interested to see. Leave your feedback. Who did you vote for for the Madden NFL 15 cover vote? Let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys.